Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. <sighs> it's been a 14 hour work day. So what am I gonna do? Not go to Disneyland, sorry. Um, I'm gonna have some snacks, how about that? It is time for snacks around the world, yes. My snack box that I get is called Munch Addict. It's a monthly subscription box that I pay for. You can check them out. They're all over the place. It's pretty good stuff. It's been fun. Uh, today's snacks, let's see. We have got Poland. We have got Mexico. A little bitty one from Mexico. We've got another Mexico that's totally different. And do, 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 do. this is a big one. So why can't I find it? Oh, for Pete's sake. This is Poland. Oh, two Polands and two Mexicos. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hubby and I were just watching a, a Lang Focus video the other day about the Polish language. Y'all. People say English is hard, okay? And I guess for you know someone coming in and learning it, yeah, it is. But Polish, mm -mm. I'm sorry, that's just not happening. That's just too difficult for me. All right, I am going to start with one of the Mexico snacks, the little bitty one, just to get it over with here because it's so little. This is called the Nestle Crunch Stick. Chocolate con leche y arroz inflado. So basically it's um, chocolate and rice. I think kind of like a crunch bar probably, but just little. All right, let's see. After a day like today, I could use some chocolate. Because, yes, I'm recording this on a Monday night, and boy, it has been a Monday all day. It does look like the back of a crunch bar, but in sort of just like a single Kit Kat version of it. Let's see what we got. Mmm. That's pretty good. Because I love crunch bars. So, yeah, this definitely right up my alley. I mean, it's built in portion control, I guess. You get one little stick of it. But that's pretty doggone good. I'm going to set it aside because I know the hand will be in here later wanting some chocolate. So, you know, with all this chocolate floating around, yeah, I can share. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the other Mexico one first. I know the hand won't want these. Lucas Swinkle, Squinkles Salsa Getty Aceritos. In the description, uh, it says, Dulce Acerito in Tierra de Sabor Manzana Verde y Salsa Acerita. Green apple flavored sour candy strips and sour sauce. Oh, the hand has arrived. He won't want any of this one. No. No. Here, you want this one? <laughs> Thought you might. But I'm going to try this one. It seems to be a sour candy. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, that is cool. That is very cool. And what is it? It's okay. It looks like green spaghetti. And it's got something in the bottom. I think it's sauce. Spaghetti sauce? Different kind of spaghetti sauce. Ooh. All right, I'm squirting it on there. It's gooey and it's yellow. Mmm. Oh, it's tart. It's wonderful. Mmm. Yucky. Love me some tart candy. <laughs> mm. I can see little kids loving this. I like it a lot. I guess that, you know, tells you all you need to know about me, right? That's pretty doggone good. <laughs> Alright, I'll put this down until later because... Oh yeah, that's mine, all mine. <laughs> all right, the next two are from Poland. Hey, Hand, you want the big one from Poland or the little one from Poland? Both. I know. We'll start with the little one then. 
This says Milky Way. Oscar's over there meowing. If you can hear him, he cannot have any of this because it's chocolate. You cannot give chocolate to kitties or doggies. I wonder if the Polish chocolate tastes any different. Nougat. I knew that was going away. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it tastes like a Milky Way. It tastes exactly like a Milky Way. What'd he say? You can't have a Milky Way. Come here. Why not? Because you're a kitty. And chocolate is really bad for kitties. See? There's a sweet boy right here who wants my foods, but it's not foods he can have. Boop. <laughs> Go on. All right. Nestle Princesa Longa Zebra. Okay, then. It's from Poland. Got a little bit smushed, a lot of transit going on there from Poland to I think Canada, then to here. Looks like a wafer cookie thingy. <laughs> uh-huh. That's the other piece. Mm. It's wafer cookies made of chocolate with like, what looks like a chocolate cream inside. A little bit crumbly crummy from all the transit and bouncing around in that box, but... Yum! <laughs> it is pretty good. I got no eyeballs. <laughs> anyway... Must you have more right now? Here, I'll give you. Break me off a piece, would you? Crumbs everywhere. Ah! Thank you, dear hand. <laughs> you know, earlier today. I uh, did a live for my time for tea for Monday because this is Monday night when I'm recording this. And I mentioned that my favorite Muppet animal might be sitting over there. Or at least animal at rest. He's not nearly as frantic when drumming or anything else. He's more chill. But like chill animal. Or you know he could be either Statler or Waldorf, too, and I could be the other one of those. I'm just saying. If you know what the Muppets are. If you don't, you have missed out on your classical education. Anyway, if you get a chance to try something that's from someplace else, sometimes it's very similar to what we already have, just has different labeling and stuff. Sometimes it's really cool and wild and green. <laughs> I can't wait to finish this. <laughs> but whatever it is, give it a shot. Because it's one thing we all have in common all around the world with everybody. Everybody eats. Most people snack, at least a little. So try something sometime. And if you can't try it yourself and you want to see some different snacks, just look at the playlist of my snacks around the world. You never know quite what you're going to see. Hopefully you will stick around. Like if you like this. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd be happy if you considered it. Leave me a comment. What is the favorite, most favorite foreign snack that you've ever tried? Hmm. I don't know if I can come up with one. Because a lot of things could be considered snacks that maybe aren't. I'd really have to think on it. Not you. You can't think on it. Your kumquat won't handle it. <laughs> he talks back when he's not on camera. Mm -hmm. You see how that is. Anyway, I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.